I did not. Uh, you good. already started recording. Yeah. Hello, everybody. To all of you that have subscribed on my channel and talking about the Ames team and Mountain Monsters in general, this is my wife, Rachel. You got anything to say? Other than the fact I'm going to kill you now. Oh, she loves me. Oh, yeah. So what do you have to say to all the Mountain Monster fans, even the ones that in the UK, Canada, Australia, the ones that can't get the Travel Channel or anything? Now why do you got to be right up in my face? I'm sorry. Might possibly be able to uh, post some videos. I can send them to you and you can post them. There you go. And what she's talking about is she's got videos of when it came out on the 21st of August, the uh, episode one. You know, it's video after video. It's not all linked together, so. I recorded it for my dad. Yes. And they came out and visited him, and boy, he was happy as a coon in the cornfield one day, hun. Um, positive, they probably have seen his picture circulating with yep. uh, Bill and Jeff and Huckleberry. Yep. Yeah, we've been watching it for a long time, and finally got the opportunity to actually go see him down in uh, Madison, West Virginia, down in Boone County at the Coal Festival, which is right down below Charleston. And what a fun day we had, didn't we? Oh, yeah. They had a parade going on. They had old-time looking uh, fire trucks and everything. And they, and here come the Ames team. They can, Everybody was there except Trapper and Buck. Buck had to work, and of course Trapper, as we all know, or have heard of his condition, well, couldn't make it there. But uh, Wild Bill, Huckleberry, Jeff, and Willie was there. She's very professional, trust me. She she can carry on the conversation. This this video can go on for hours. Oh my, yeah. Mm hmm Now if I had a proper heads up about it, I could I could have done some research and uh, pulled up some of the stuff they hunt and Yep. Tell you some about it. I think that'd be We have Facebook groups. <clears throat> Mine is Mount Monster fans and loving and loving memory of Mark Warren. You can come follow. It's a bit backwards, um, yeah. a bit ass backwards. You kind of can't see it. Again, it's Mount Monsters and loving memory of Mark Warren. You're welcome to come join it. Mark Warren was an awesome guy. We never got the chance to actually meet him in person, just through Facebook. And it was his group. And then, sadly, he passed away. And it was a it came to a shock to us because, you know, how you're just talking to somebody and you get to know them, and then all of a sudden you hear that they're passing, and it just comes up all of a sudden. That's how it came with Mark. And uh, we heard from his son and everything. And uh, I knew that he would be very proud of her for taking over making a group and uh, doing everything in his honor and he was, he'd be proud to this day. I know he's smiling above uh, excited as we were for the new episode of Mountain Monster season six because he was excited uh, biting at the bit as we all were of when and what month or day that it would start. Um, in the group, we discuss a lot of stuff. As long as there's no spoilers, I, I make a post for spoilers for anybody that watches. And for those that don't get to watch, I make a, a special dedicated post for the spoilers. And we're both, <laughs> and we are both admins, admins in the group. 
Uh, I'm the one that created it. She's the one that created it. Uh, there are no, there is no drama, and if there is, you just bring it to our attention. And uh, if they don't abide by by it, they're out. There's three questions to answer to get in. Even if you answer them kind of wrong, I still let you in. But if any of you is interested and you have Facebook, look it up and you're more welcome to join. If any of you want to be in a group of mountain monsters that has no drama or anything whatsoever, her group is the group to join. <laughs> and as soon as I can, I want to get back to uh, doing my researches on everything they've hunted and post the research stuff on them and now what I told you all about uh, the creatures that they have to do before spear finger and it being two hours uh, that is all that I will let you guys know but I will bring you uh, episodes each and every week and uh, feel free to tune in and if you want to know uh, more than just on YouTube join join her group I wrote down the names of the ones they have to hunt before they get the spear finger and I've started a list of questions too I, I'm keeping track of everything that goes on up here I'm putting it down the paper that way I don't get all jumbled up and if you guys happen to watch any crime shows of these forensic <laughs> people and stuff that get way down into the facts and stuff that's her when it comes to mountain monsters looking up anything that you can possibly imagine that they're looking for mm -hmm. to me she's kind of like abby in ncis only it's in mountain monsters the abby of mountain monsters <laughs> yeah the abby of mountain monsters <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh you're such a fruitcake. I know. But, thank you all who have subscribed to my channel and commented and liked. And to anybody else that's watching this that hasn't mm -hmm. subscribed to my channel, comment and like. And if you're on Facebook and happen to see the group that you've heard about in this video, uh, feel free to send her a message mm -hmm. or me and you'll be invited in. Sorry, I'm not very talkative. I've been up since 3 a.m. with very little sleep taking care of my dad. So I'm wore out and had a birthday party today for my daughter. And she turns three on uh, 29th. On the 29th, which is Thursday. So I'm just kind of wore out and ready for bed. Yeah. Thank well, you all. In all fairness, it is after 10 o'clock. Yeah, 25 minutes after 10 to be exact, but yeah, it's after 10. Well, that is all. Thank you all for watching.